For the second uh, flange, which is uh, circular, we are going to practice actually fillets and tangency relationship with circles. So again, we start a new part and we can get the same material as I1020, for example, and thickness will be again half inches. So. SI 1020 and we can start sketching the outline of the contour on the front plane and in this case I will place a circle in the middle and the diameter of that circle actually radius is a 1.5 1.5 which means diameter is a 3 and I will again type 1.5 times 2 Oops. Okay, 1.5 times 2, and it's 3, that's fine. Now we are going to place another circle of the 2 times 3 quarters diameter, and that circle is going to be horizontal, and 2 times 3 divided by 4, what is going to be a 1.5 of course and now we can make this and origin the center point and origin to be horizontal and we will specify the distance between the two circles as a 2 between the two centers of the circles as a 2 points. I will make a 1 I can make the two center lines, one horizontal center line and another vertical center line. And now I can try to see if the fillet will work. If I click a fillet and if I put the radius of the fillet to be a one inch, let's see what will happen. Will it work or not? Aha, it says something interesting. That in this case, please select the sketch vertex on an open sketch segment. Because they are not open, you will not be able to directly use fillets. So, what we can do in that case is that we can either open this tool by trimming. Let's get introduced to a trim command. Trim command is the scissors here. And if we open, we click on a trim, and we click on a power trim, and the power trim. If I press the left button of the mouse now and I drag it over the geometry, it will erase the geometry like the rubber, essentially, like the rubber on a pencil. So I press the left mouse button and keep it. And I want to erase this and this area here. Release the left button of the mouse again. Keep the left mouse of the button and trim it and release those two. Click OK. I can also extend this center line down so I can actually trim the opposite side of the circle so I don't need to trim it down so again press down the mouse button and now I have a half the time can go work now if I click on a fillet and I specify my radius to be a one inch and now if I click on this segment and this segment and this segment and this segment, look what I've got. I've got perfectly related structure. Now all what I need to do is to use my symmetry friend and to do the mirror. And then it is to mirror will be all of the arcs that I've created. And mirror about vertical line. And here is my fully defined outline for this particular flange done in four minutes i'm going to close this sketch i'm going to extrude the feature to be a 0.5 inch thick line extrude for 0.5 inch thick and now i'm going to use the sketch wizard oh pardon the hole wizard to place the holes of one and two diameter. If I click on a double pin hole, size one, 
go for a position. And I will put the whole one here, one somewhere here. Press escape. Again, press and to press with the left mouse button on the center of one of the hole. Press shift and hover the mouse to the arc of the edge of the part. Left press on the mouse. Now I choose the edge and the point and click concentric relationship. I can do the same on the other end. Press on the point, press shift, keep the shift down, press on the edge, and select choose another concentric. I'm done with the two holes. And the central hole will be a two inches. Now, there is no standard drill of the two inch diameter. So what we can do, we can still do some special tool, or we can specify it to be a cut. Maybe if we are CNC in this and we don't want to buy a special tool, we may actually do pocketing. Although it is a circular, it may be a pocket of the two inch diameter. So in that case, what you can do, you can do the extrude cut. So in that case, we make a sketch and we make the on the face, sketch on the face, we make a circle anchored with the center point coincident with our origin and we place a smart dimension and diameter of this circle should be of this circle should be two inches close this command and close the sketch click on the features and do the extrude cut through all with clicking on the through all click ok and here is our two inch hole, which in this case we want really maybe with a quarter inch end mill that we want to machine it. And that completes this exercise. Let's see if we are using ASI 1020. Your mouse. Your mouse should be 0.84 grams. 0.84 grams. And we can display under annotation, we can display annotation, and we can show features dimensions, and we can see that all dimensions are present. Okay, this concludes the demonstration in which we learn how to use the fillet. The key for a fillet in a sketch mode to use it is that the contours need to be open. And if the contours are not open, then we need to open it by using, for example, a trim command. So we've seen the basics of the trim, where we erase the unwanted two-dimensional elements of the sketch, and we've seen the use of the fillet command.